We want to see some love. It's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. What's going on, YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV. Well, we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, so after you're done charging these earbuds up completely, that's when you want to go and download the Soundcore app, which I do have right here. And then once you open these up, it will tell you to hook these up to your device via Bluetooth and then go inside the app. It will run an update. I had to run a firmware update on these and it took maybe about 10, 15 minutes for that to completely run. Um, and I just had to not use them and just make sure that everything went through smoothly. After that, the earbuds will restart and then reconnect to your mobile device. Once you do open up this app, um, this main screen will show up and what you want to click on is the earbud icon up here Obviously, these are the life series right here And then you scroll down and these are the life a 2 nc you click on that and they'll run through the whole setup process But since I already have these set up to my mobile device I'm just gonna go ahead and click on these and as you can see this is the main screen for these life a 2 nc earbuds So at the top left you do have these four squares if you click that it takes you back to the screen with um, The speakers you could hook up or the headphones you could hook up and all your devices that you have already hooked up to this app So I'm just going to click inside of that once again on the top right you do have this gear icon this is where you have your settings you have your firmware your serial number auto power off you can set that to 5 10 60 minutes or you can just cut that off completely i will just leave that at 30 minutes touch tone turn that on or off and touch tone is to get the audible beeps inside of your earbuds when you i think are pushing buttons or something like that Firmware update right there. I just updated my firmware so I know that's up to date. You got your help, your quick start guide, and your user manual. And the help quick start guide and user manual is everything that came inside of the box. This right here, you can just go ahead and just go inside the app and look up everything so you don't have to. So when you're out and about and you have need help with something, just go ahead and click inside the app, you're good money. Also, you have this question mark icon and up here, this is Life A2NC, gives you how-to videos, operation, Bluetooth, charging, and the sound. You have your feedback, live chat, and phone. So if you are having issues, you can't figure it out for yourself. If this page doesn't help out, you can send them an email, you can go on live chat, or you can give them a phone call. I don't know how well the phone call will work, but whatever, it's there if you need it. And then as you can see, I do have the you do have the image of the earbuds right here it gives you battery percentage below them left right and then underneath that the ambient sound this is where you can change your ambient sound modes right here so inside of noise cancellation you can change the modes from transport indoor outdoor so those three different ones under noise cancellation under transparency mode you can have fully transparent or vocal mode and then normal is just regular sound settings right. they give you multiple options inside these earbuds for ambient sound and then and what i've noticed lately if you do get sound core earbuds that has the ability for noise canceling you have all of these options in here i know i just reviewed the life q35 headphones and you had all the same options inside of the app when it came to the life q35 headphones as well and then also at the bottom you do have your equalizer button right here at default it's set to sound core signature and if you click on the arrow there's about 21 to 22 different presets that you can automatically click and if you hit custom you can go ahead and customize whatever let me see and if you hit custom you can go ahead and customize whatever eq however you want it to sound move these up and down to get the highs the mids the lows exactly how you want them to sound um, and then also you can get to that custom as well from this button right here um, so if i go back i'm gonna keep it on default right here and at the bottom you also have these icons you get click on home it takes you back to the home and then also now for the button functions on the controls like as i mentioned earlier these buttons they are not physical tactile buttons they are touch pads so double tap on the left one will go to your next track double tap on the right one will pause and play your music but then you can also customize these so if you click on that you can pick exactly which one you want to the double tap to do so double tap on the left track is good for me double tap on the right one I would want to go to the previous track and then hold down for two seconds for the left you can adjust your ambient sound which you want that to be um, and then let me see and then also on the right one as well you can adjust the ambient sound but um, yeah, and so I'll just leave it like that. Um, obviously, you have the options. You can customize it exactly how you want to customize it. Um, 
to suit your needs. And that is pretty much it. Everything inside of this app. Obviously, I do like this app simply because it does give you that customizable EQ, which just makes a world of difference when it comes to getting that perfect sound that you want. So yeah, people, that's all I got for you. That is everything inside the app. Let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment down below if you think that they should add more to this app or if it's just perfect. And that's all I got for you people. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, or if this is your first time here to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my next tech video. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.